Hey guys, Chris here for the process. Second thing I'm going to cover is how to quickly add texture to your type. It's not a typeface that you're finding on the internet. But before we do that, let's roll the title. Now, how did we create this? So first I have this type. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this typeset, select all, and I'm gonna copy it. So I'm gonna jump into this file here, okay? Now this file, you can't really see what's going on until I turn the background on. Ah, now you recognize some of the textures here from the Rob Brink. Where did I get this file from? I got it right here. I got it from Creative Market. And I'll provide the links below so you guys can pick up the same thing. Okay, this doesn't look anything like our text, but the way these files are organized is all you have to do is double click on this thing. It's using the smart object, smart layer thing. And here it is. So I got my guy in here, but I don't want my guy, I want my type. So I'm gonna put my type in here and hit Command V. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna temporarily turn the background on so you guys can see what we're doing. And it looks something like that. All right, there, that's a little bit easier to see. So I need to go and change this thing. So Spartan Logo Design Challenge, I'm gonna go and make the, these two things the same width. So I'm gonna just scale it up and I'm hitting Command Shift greater than, less than to adjust the size. Let's pretend that it was exactly right. And I'm gonna put a little bit more space between these two things. So I'm gonna check back with the original design here and it looks like this. So I added two bars on the top and the bottom and that's all I did just to anchor this entire design. I wanted it to have some heft. I wanted it to feel like it's this military thing, Ford Super Duty Tough, that kind of vibe. And so that's why I did that. So let me go into the file and all we have to do here is to add some bars. So I'm gonna create a new layer, hit M for marquee and draw some bars. I wanna make sure I cover this thing from edge to edge. Let me make sure, I should have drawn it here. So I got a little bit too much, so I'm gonna subtract that by holding down Option and dragging it to be right there. Okay, moving this back up. That's about the right thickness. I'm holding Shift as I move up here, guys. And I'm gonna fill this thing, hit X, and hit Option Delete and fill that, and then drag it down Put it there for a second. I'm gonna hit Command H to hide it and move the sucker down. And I'm adjusting the visual space between here and here. And I know the bottom one has to be the same size, if not a little bit bigger than the top for it to feel balanced. That feels okay to me. All right, now I'm gonna grab my type tool again, select all, and then I'm gonna hit option up arrow on the keyboard to move it up. I'm adjusting the leading right now. So let's say it's there. Let's look at it. It's hard to see it like that. Okay, that's not bad. Maybe it needs to be a little bit farther away. So again, select all, option down. Maybe that's enough. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I delete this layer. This wasn't supposed to be here. Delete it. All right, so and once I hit save on this file, I'm gonna go back. Is it command shift tilde? There we go. And look, voila. It's got all the texture built into it. This file is ingenious in the way it's built. Now you'll notice there, it just has the textures and on ours, it has a little bit of an outline. And the reason why it has an outline is because you can see in the smaller areas of the type here, it's kind of hard to read. So some of you guys that were doing the Spartan logo design challenge, I would mention that type in the smaller areas is getting a little hard to read. You've over textured. And the way they solved it is they've created on this outline thing. That's pretty cool. And you can adjust the outline thing. It's an effect, it's all built in. So you can see what it looks like has a really cool and very believable analog effect of a photocopier. And so let's pretend like that's great, that's what we would want. And now we turn off the background and save it out and then bring it in. Save it out as a PNG, bring it into other file. Or you can drag it right in there if you want. And that's how I created the Spartan Logo Design Challenge in about 30 minutes or so. On a different episode, I'll go into my texture file library and you guys will probably be blown away. I hope you guys enjoyed this, like the video, subscribe to our channel, and let us know if you guys want to see more of these kind of quick tutorials.